For the heel of my sock, I used my gray yarn, and again, I'm going to start with the magic circle just like we did in the beginning. You're going to go ahead and make your slip knot. Then you're going to make six single crochet into the magic circle, just like we did before. Then you're going to close it the same way. This one's not closing in the circle, so I'm going to let go and pull on the other one, and then it's closing up. Then I can let go and pull on the loose yarn end, and then just turn your work. We're going to make two single crochet in every stitch around for a total of 12. I'm going to work the first one with you. So two single crochet in every stitch around for a total of 12. Then you can take and turn your work over and then close up the center of the magic circle. And just like we did for the increase rounds for the front of the sock, the first increase round is going to be one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. Then go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around. And we're going to increase the same as we did for the front of the sock. The next one will be one single crochet into two stitches, and then the third one will be one single crochet into three stitches with two single crochet into the fourth stitch. I just finished my last increase round, which was one single crochet into three stitches and then two single crochet into the fourth stitch and now I have a total of 30 stitches all the way around which is what you should have as well then go ahead and move your yarn marker up and you're only going to make one single crochet in every stitch around for a total of three rounds so three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. So I just finished three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. Then you can go ahead and move up the yarn marker. We're going to make the flat portion on the bottom of the foot. So you're going to make one single crochet into the next 19 stitches. So only one single crochet in 19 stitches and then come back. I just finished one single crochet into 19 stitches. Then you're going to chain one. Turn your work. You're going to go into the next stitch over. Bring up a loop. Make a single crochet and then you're going to make one single crochet in every stitch back across back to the yarn marker I made it back to the yarn marker then you're going to chain one turn your work and then make one single crochet in every stitch back across so go into the next stitch and make a single crochet and you're going to keep repeating this pattern until you've completed six rows so you need a total of six rows of one single crochet in every stitch after you finish the six rows of one single crochet in every stitch you can go ahead and finish off, just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into your work.
I'm just going to give you the measurement of my heel. My heel measures approximately four and a half inches. You can go ahead and bury the loose yarn end on the magic circle on the inside of the heel. 